Man, we ain't got shit done. <laughs> Guess why? How come, Ash? Because it's snowing. <laughs> Damn, nature, you scary. <laughs> It's actually melting already. So I haven't got shit done on the 47 because I've been waiting on the weather and been waiting on some materials and then the weather caused shipping delays. So anyways, I want to talk about some metal flake bullshit. Shouldn't probably shouldn't say bullshit. Some metal flake. So I want to try and break down some metal flake, metal flake sizes and fluid tip sizes that you should be using with your metal flake. So you can hear what I say, but don't take my word for it. Okay, so when you're going to buy some metal flake and you don't understand what to do, you got to understand that there's several different names that set different manufacturers call different flakes. Like you'll hear micro, lil, mini, standard, large, and jumbo. And those are pertaining to the size of the flake that they make. I've seen micros, lils, and minis in both of these sizes. 0 .002 is really tiny and more for airbrush flakes. Yeah. So if you sprinkle some down on there, I'll try and get a close up of how big this flake is. And it is tiny. It'll run through an airbrush. You can also run it through a gun with the 0.0 or 0.4. Yeah. Tiny. So when it comes to this size of flake, shooting it through a 1.0, 1.4, it'll come out like a, the gun doesn't even know it's in there. And then you can run that size through all these different sizes of fluid tips but you could use this flake in an airbrush. But the airbrush has to be able to flow the flake. And this is a Creos airbrush, and it actually has a big enough needle and fluid tip in it to push that flake through there. I've used it before. The reason why is because this is adjustable. So also, you can run this flake inside a standard gun too. So this gun here, I, I use it mainly for flakes. This is an Annie Silver with a 1.3 in it. You can use this gun for base coats, clear coats, primers, but you can run a, a .004 flake through it with no problems. Those will be micro, lils, or minis. We're gonna, definitely gonna look like we've been visiting some strippers after we do this video. <laughs> Next up, 004. Also known as micro, lil, or mini. So it's tiny, but you can see the difference between the one 002 and the 004. Actually, you really can't tell that big of a difference, but it is. It is large, just, I mean, it's twice the size. But that 004, I wouldn't run it through anything less than a 1.3. Again, the gun will, it won't know it's in there. So if you were to try to run this through a 1.0, you might get some clogs because the flake will settle inside the gun cup and then it'll try and squirt it out or blow it out or clear it out and it'll splatter so I would run on 1.3 with the 004 and you'll get nice even patterns with your flakes and then we got 008 so also known as a standard or little or medium so you can see it's starting to get, the flake size is actually visibly bigger. Let's move, move the airbrush. So when it comes to a .008, I have used a 1.4 with the 008, but you could also run it up to 1.7 or 
or 0 0.8, 0 0.9, 2.0 if you want to, but you don't have to. If you're trying to get a smooth finish, you can run a 008 through a 1.4, and that would be a gun like this. This here is a DeVilbus Tecna, and it's got a 1.4 in it. I got different tips and sizes that go into this gun, but I, I usually keep it at a 1.4. It's good for base coats and clear bases when you're running your metal flakes. So when you're using 0 .008 flakes, the standard size or medium, you can also use a 1.5 gun. And I've used this gun a shitload of times. It's a DeVilbus FLG. This is like a workhorse gun. I've used it for primers, base coats, pearls. It actually does really good with pearls for some reason. I don't know why, but it's a good gun, good gun to use. And if you're spraying uh, 0.004 to 0.008, you can also use this 1.5. And I have sizes, different sizes and tips for the DeVilbus that go up to 1.8. So you can swap it out, but I keep it at a 1.5. So then next up, if I was to do an analysis on myself, I would say that I favor the .004s and the .008s. So I buy it in bulk, big one. And this is a, is a mixture of .004 and .008. And this is what I use primarily. I shoot a lot of flakes, but I use this one you get a different reflection out of the sun because you get the micros and then you get the, the standard size in there so you get like you get a, a big reflection plus you get a small sparkle so if you mix your flakes mix your flake sizes you will you will get a different effect so let's let's pull some of this out and we'll spread it out and it's 0 0.008 but you'll see how there's 0 0.004s and 0 0.008s in there So hard to tell on camera that it's different. different sizes, but I don't know. So if you were to spray this size, you could spray it in, in, anything from a 1.4 to a 1.7, or a 1.8, or a 2.0 to 2.2. If you're trying to lay down a nice finish, you wouldn't want to go any bigger than a 1.5. Okay, going back to a mix, there's a 0 .008 and a 0 .015. Now you're starting to get into a visually big size of flake. Like you could actually see the shape of the flake and I think this is a square. Yeah, you can see that pretty good. Let me get a little closer. I mean, these sparkle like crazy. But when you lay them down, you're, you're going to be using a 1.8 or a 1.9. Because you don't want this size of flake to come out of your gun and just start flying through the air. Like, it, it's hard to explain. Um, you want the gun to not know that this is inside of it. So I would use a 1.8 or 1.9. And... I got another anti silver that is a 1.9 set up for a 1.9. So, going back to my Tecna, I said I do have parts to make this gun a 1.8, but rather than doing that, I just have a whole different gun and it has a 1.9 in it. And it's you can see how big that tip is, it'll flow the, these 015 flakes or large without knowing that the flake is in the gun. Okay, now going to the 0 .015s to the 0 .025s, you're going large, jumbo, or monster. These are the terms you'll see when buying the flake. And look at the size of that shit. It's huge. Yeah, you can totally tell. 
that you can tell on camera that it's 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 huge. Yeah. So this is a combo, combo flake, co a combo color. It's called suicidal blue. This paint or this flake is sold by Paint Huffer. Paint Huffer flakes. They're really good flakes. I've used them a million times. They hold out with their sparkle, they're UV resistant. They have a temperature threshold, I think 400 degrees. Which is really important when you're messing around with flakes because you don't want to do a flake job and then a year later, it changed its color in the sun because the UV beat it up. So with this, this size of flake, I wouldn't be using anything smaller than a 1.8. And here is a 2.0. This is an Annie gun also. And this is my flake gun. And look at the size of that monster tip on there. That will flow those 0 to 5 flakes without knowing that it's in there. You're not going to get a nice finish or a texture. But at this point, when you're spraying these flakes, you're not going to get a nice finish or texture anyways. When you go back to like the 0.04s and the 0.008s, you might get a smooth finish and you might be able to do a clear coat over top of something like that one time and get away with it, but you're not going to do that with this size flakes. These flakes here, the 15s and the 25s, they're so big that they're going to leave impressions in, in your clear coat or your clear base that you're going to have to go over maybe three times with some clear coat to start burying the flakes and then you're gonna buy yourself another coating of clear that you can wet sand off and then polish out and make smooth and glass it out. So let's talk about some of the different brands of flakes. Um, you gotta be careful buying these flakes because you don't wanna buy bulk on eBay where the flakes come in from China and it's shitty crappy flake. So you gotta be careful. I mean, I would do some test runs and some samples and stuff. But the paint huffer flakes are really good. I've got good feedback off the Roth flakes, those custom creations flakes. Okay, so these are paint with pearl flakes, all of them. I've bought a lot of flakes from paint with pearl. They're really good flakes. They hold out in the sun. They sparkle like crazy. You can see it just sparkling in the jar, but check them out. It's paintwithpearl.com. No, I'm not sponsored, but I do carry a lot of theirs. In fact, this bulk is from Paint With Pearl, and I use this a lot. And the reason why I use the silver and the gold a lot is because of this right here, candy colors. It's like on my guitar job that I just did, I used the silver as a base, and then I went over top of it with multiple candy colors. And that's how you do a, a real candy paint job. Okay, so my son had a really good idea. Do a comparison between the .002 <laughs> to the .25. Look at that, there's a, there's a, dang, there's a huge difference. That's paint up for suicidal. These are all paint puffers. So, airbrush flakes. Custom Paints Inspire. These are, this is Inspire. This is their metal flake line. It's really tiny, but they're good. I like these flakes too. Good stuff. Custom Creative. So this here is a rainbow silver. So I'll explain what that is. <clears throat> you can see the rainbow, there's prismatic, okay. So you got, you, you'll see this as holographic or hollow. You'll see that when you're buying it, AKA rainbow or prismatic because it has a prismatic effect. Can you put some of that down there, Ash? And see if we get the, get the rainbow effect on the table. Oh yeah.
what's weird about this stuff is you can spray a whole car with this stuff and the, and the bigger the the bigger the project or the bigger the panel you'll, it'll be there'll be a prismatic effect across that whole the whole panel or the whole car you could do something you know this big and there'll be a prismatic effect on that piece or you do something big like that hood and the whole hood would be prismatic it's crazy so then they got prismatic or holographic or rainbows in several different colors like gold and you can see in the jar that it's already there's a prismatic effect see that check that out it's cool I did a whole chopper with that So if you're messing with metal flakes, these are the tools of the trade. This is the stuff you want to know. Um, you can listen to what I say, but don't take my word for it. <laughs> One more tool, a couple more tools I got in my arsenal are a clear coat gun and some more airbrushes. I actually have a whole drawer full of airbrushes, old ones, new ones. When I do airbrushing with base colors, and candies, I'll use this. It's an, an Iwata Eclipse. And it's like a dual action. You get air feed and fluid feed. And it's a technique that you should practice and practice over time. You'll you'll get it down. You'll be able to do fine fine point style writing. And, and you can do, you can actually fill in large areas with this gun. Um, this one here, like I said earlier, it's a Krios. It's pretty much um, a single action. You get fluid and air all in the same in the same push of the button, but you can adjust how much fluid comes out by turning the needle. This gun here is a Segola. It's a Segola clear DBR clear gun. It's got a 1.3, but it's also called a 1.3 XL. I'm not exactly sure what that means. Maybe somebody knows out there, but this gun is a really good gun. And I'm going to do a full review on this gun soon. And I might even put it up against a Techna Copper. Shit, I might as well just do like... I might have to buy some more guns if I'm going to do shit like that. Yeah. But I don't believe in having like a million guns. It looks like I have a million guns right here, but I don't. I just, I have my favorites and that's it. So I'd like to reiterate real quick on uh, 1.0. I'm shooting um, baby or micro or mini. Yeah, baby, that's another term I forgot was baby. You, you could see, you could see these flakes named micro, little, mini, or baby. But this is a 1.0. And this is actually a mini gun. I use it for spots. It's a Graco Phoenix, and it's a really good gun. It's affordable, and it will shoot the micro and mini flakes. So flake shapes, sizes, and colors all over the internet. If you go on there and start looking for metal flake shapes, you can find square and circle, mostly uh, related to a one point or a, a micro or a mini you can find the square and the circles in that size all the time and then when it comes to 0 .008 or little or standard standard size flakes you'll find square circle hexagons when you start getting into the bigger 0 0.008 and the 1.5s and the 2.5s or the monster sizes. You can get them in square, rectangular, hexagon, diamond shapes, and in every variety of color. And whether it be holographic or prismatic, whatever the effect you're looking for, you can get those sizes and those shapes in all these different colors. Then when it comes to your candies, and you're doing, let's say you're doing your, your base silver, base silver flakes. You're going to be using a candy concentrate like House of Color. They sell these in uh, pints and half pints. 
And these go a long damn way. You can turn this into like, you can turn this into a court easily. 